I have once again changed my hair color. I dyed my hair last weekend. This wonderful, lovely red that is packed up and up to you right now. If you want to see more pictures of it, head over to my Instagram at Ijamakola. It was my eight year natural hair anniversary last weekend. I was like semi reflecting on like where my hair has been. I do have a disclaimer at the end of the video about how I feel about uh, my natural hair journey moving forward. So if you're interested in that, just continue watching the video. I'm sure that you will see some really funny pictures of myself over the past eight years that will really tickle you so I hope you enjoy this is your first time here on my channel hey what's up it is Ijama Cola if you knew me before as classy kinks I am no longer classy kinks and I will talk about that a little bit more later in the video but make sure that you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more of my videos and feel free to also hit that notification bell all right so let's get right on into the video so I actually decided to go natural in the summer of 2009 I was in college under at Harvard University. Uh, there weren't many people with natural hair there at the time. Um, so I just decided to do kinky twists and weaves, transitioned for about a year, and right when school closed, so Memorial Day weekend of 2010, I cut my hair. I did my big chop. And so because I had transitioned for about a year, I had a good amount of hair. And in that first year, from summer 2010 to spring 2011, I spent that time like really trying to figure out like what to do <laughs> with my hair. I would make a lot of videos is kind of like just literally just twisting my hair and talking and somehow some way people would watch those videos I was wearing colored contacts at the time like gray colored contacts that made me look absolutely insane but you know we just really thank God for bringing us out of the valley because that was definitely a valley so when school started I entered into my junior year of college and that year did a lot of flat twists and updos you know school is like super stressful and time-consuming so I would just do a lot of like small flat twist updos one of my favorite youtubers at that time was mahogany knots and she had some amazing amazing flat twist updo videos and I would always try to duplicate those and I only really successfully did it like a few times where my parts were perfect and my twists were perfect and all the above but that was kind of like my my go-to style like flat twist updos and roll tuck and pins Janelle B Stewart's roll tuck and pins or at the time it was black is beautiful her roll tuck and pin videos also like got me through junior year of college so now year two which is 2011 slash 2012 I spent the summer in New York I was experimenting with curly weaves um, I also tried to do some DIY hair products that never really lasted for me I think I made two products and I was like bump this I'm never doing this again that summer I had my one of two bad hair color experiences over the past eight years um, I went to this woman's salon in New York and I had asked for like caramel like golden blonde highlights in my hair and my hair was brick red not this red not like a pretty red but like this red red and she had gotten dye on my shirt I was in the salon for five hours it was just a whole entire mess I left this like really long Yelp review I had a whole YouTube video about it that was really 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 bad so senior year of college you know I got into a new relationship with my now husband I was still doing super like low maintenance styles because I was writing a thesis my hair was growing a lot actually thanks to like all the twists and the updos and stuff and I actually reached armpit length by the end of that second year, which was like pretty cool. So moving into year three, so the summer of 2012 and now moving into 2013, I graduated from college. I immediately started grad school. I continued with my low maintenance style. Instead of doing like two strand twists, I now would do mini twists that would last me like three, four weeks at a time. Oh, I also got my first set of Havana twists. Totally loved Havana twists. I think I did them like two other times during my natural hair journey. Super easy style. I learned how to do them myself. I started doing it on other people. So that's kind of my first foray into Havana twists. So that was also the time I really started to reject the idea of a hair type. There's a whole video about like my thoughts about hair typing and how there are so many different ways of understanding hair type. 
and like none of them are really useful. I was really focused on porosity and density and those kinds of things and felt like the natural hair community at that time was like super concerned with like what's your hair type and only you know associating with people who had the same hair type as you. There were definitely some bloggers and YouTubers who really branded themselves as a 4C blogger and kind of like skyrocketed to success. Perhaps if I had done that and been more consistent with my YouTube, I would have grown in a different way. That wasn't a priority for me at the time. I was in grad school. But yeah, that's just the one thing that I definitely remember about the transition from um, college to grad school. I was like now all of a sudden like anti hair type. Like don't ask me what my hair type is. I'll tell you it's kinky and healthy and that's all. Moving along, year four, so 2013 to 2014, the so summer of 2013, I got my first like really positive salon experience and that was at Carol's Daughter Mirror Salon in Harlem, RIP Mirror Salon. I got my hair straightened, I loved that video, I got like my brother's friend to like record the video for me so I felt super fly and like super professional. A couple weeks later, the stylist who had straightened my hair colored my hair with the caramel brown highlights that I had wanted like the year prior that I ended up not getting. Um, so I loved my hair color and also that summer I decided to launch my blog. So that's when ClassyKings.com was born the summer of 2013. It was a super exciting season. Launched all of my extra time and creative energies into the blog and honestly like that is one of the things that has got me through like my PhD program. Like being able to have that creative outlet um, has been just so invaluable. I think I discovered tension blowouts in early 2014 and the game changed. Like I didn't have to be forcing a comb through my hair. I would just hold it and blow it out and stretch it and it was bomb. My hair was probably the longest and thickest and the healthiest that it has ever been because I did so little to it. I really just did the bare minimum. Alrighty, so summer of 2014, moving into 2015, this is now year five, I did my first natural hair weave. I got this weave done by a very popular kind of like Instagram stylist and subsequently invited her to my first natural hair event. I remember being devastated because she promised to be on my event. I had her on the flyer and she didn't show up and it really like turned me off from doing events. It, it kind of like really broke me. I was really upset about it. it one of my first like negative experiences like within the natural hair blogging space. Um, that whole season was kind of like a rough period for me. What else happened? Oh, I discovered crochet braids. I used finger comber hair, did the whole thing where I set it on bras, dipped it in. This is before Curl Kalan showed up and really liked my hair in crochet braids. And then in February of 2015, I cut my hair. I was bored. I was bored of my hair, so I cut my hair into a tapered cut and absolutely loved it. It grew out like super fast. Got to play around with some shorter styles, some styles that I hadn't done with short hair, like bra sets and roller sets and cute things like that. And then to close out that year, I actually dyed my hair red and blonde and did this two-tone color. It was super, super bold to go from like pretty much black hair to blonde and red hair. Um, it was so bright. It was so beautiful. I absolutely, absolutely loved it. And I think that was when I really jumped into the hair color world and kind of have been addicted ever since. <laughs> Towards the end of 2015, I also got Bob Box Braids. That was one of the few times that I was actually like on trend. I feel like I'm always late to the trends. Um, but yeah, Bob Box Braids were like really cool, like 2015, and I feel like I kind of helped that. I'm kidding, I ain't do nothing. <laughs> 2015 to 2016, the summer of 2015, I started using Kiki Curly Yaki clip-ins and really started my relationship with them. I got engaged, which was like amazing. Um, it has nothing to do with my hair, but it, I feel like it's a major life event that, you know, required to be included in this little reminiscing. If you know anything about hair color, reds fade mad fast. So the reds faded super quickly. So I got my hair colored again in October. So all the other previous times I colored my hair, there had been at least a year in between the hair coloring. This one, it was just five months between the two hair colors. And um, yeah, I experienced breakage. You can watch that video series about my hair actually breaking, how I kind of like healed it myself. Um, but yeah, that was not fun. Because my blog had now existed for two years, I had kind of really established myself as a natural hair blogger and had been doing a lot of product reviews, just doing a lot of different things to my hair. And I think my hair really suffered 
for it. It's like really, really, really struggled. Um, was not thick, was not lively. Uh, it was just a struggle. I did curl Colin crochet braids to give my hair a rest. I shaped them, I played around with them, so that was super fun. Once I took out the crochet braids and the hair color had kind of faded, I really loved that color. And so I really like the hair color that I have now, but that was like my favorite hair color, like ever. Then I got my hair straightened. I hadn't had it straightened for a couple of years. Now 2016 to 2017, we're now entering year seven. I really started to do the bare minimum. I think this is also when I started to do more like style and beauty blogging. I was moving kind of away from the natural hair blogger uh, niche and moving out into other things. So I didn't have to do my hair as often and I didn't want to do my hair as often. That's kind of one of the reasons why I started doing other stuff. I would kind of just wash my hair every few weeks, retwist only when necessary, and I did more wigs as protective styles. I did color my hair again. I colored my hair with Cream of Nature. I was on the Cream of Nature um, Shine and Color project and it was definitely a moment where I felt like I had made it. Like as a blogger because they flew me out and paid me to get my hair done and I had never experienced anything like that before um, and I was so grateful for that opportunity and then I got married my hair for the wedding was absolutely gorgeous I used kinky curly yaki clip-ins it was really textured um, it was like an updo in the front kind of like similar to this actually so the front was kind of like twisted up and then the back kind of had the hair out and it was gorgeous I I love that style um, and I really feel like it is a timeless style that I will look back at you know 20 years from now and not be like oh my god like what was I doing with my hair back in 2017 <laughs> I actually feel like it's a style that I will love you know forever all right, now year eight, last year between 2017 and 2018, I started off last summer, I dyed my hair blonde. You know, my roots are still dark, but it was really, really blonde. It was the first time that I had really done blonde, like full out blonde. I feel like people would always notice me in crowds because my hair was so, so bright. I did have to moisturize it a lot more. And because of that, I just decided to do much less with my hair. I wanted to prioritize the health of my hair, so I really wore it in like three styles, either a shrunken fro or a puff or under a wig. And I have no regrets about that whatsoever. I think as the years went on, I definitely got not lazier and lazier, but just more comfortable with the texture of my hair and less reliant on needing to twist or braid or manipulate it in order to feel comfortable wearing it out. I think that's something beautiful about my journey so far is that I've definitely come to accept my hair and it took some time to do that. But at the beginning, I would spend so much time like twisting and twisting and for what like to what end um and now i really can just wash my hair maybe put it in five six braids and take it out the next day and carry on with my life like i don't really like seek definition um or I'm not seeking a curl, and that's really liberating. Okay, so my hair was super healthy, it is super healthy again now because I did so little to my hair and I kind of just let it be. But at the end of 2018, you know, as I was approaching the Memorial Day milestone that for me is always like the sign that it's time to do something interesting with my hair, I decided to dye my hair red. Um, no blonde highlights this time, just all over red, and um, I got it done last week, and I absolutely love it. I think red is my color. Oh gosh, the lighting in this video I'm sure is going to be a mess because I've changed the settings like five times. But the last thing that I wanted to say about my natural hair journey is that I think that my journey has come to an end. I am no longer learning what my hair likes, experimenting with different styles, trying out different products. I've kind of figured out what works for me. It took me eight years to do that and it might take some people longer time, but it's just, it's just not a journey anymore. It's a lifestyle. It's just how I wear my hair. I think that that's affecting my ability or desire to create content around natural hair because there's nothing I'm really discovering. I'm just doing my hair the same way that I would like rub lotion like every day because that's just like how I live my life. I kind of do my hair like that. I'll just spray something in it quickly. I'll put it up in a puff and kind of go on about my day. I don't see myself making a, an update video every year, you know, moving forward about what my natural hair like is doing now. Um, I'm not saying that I won't do any more natural hair videos or any styling tutorials. Like if I come up with something really interesting, like I'll definitely show you. Or if there's a new product that like is really like pushing the envelope and like really doing things differently from other products, I'll definitely tell you guys about it. Um, but yeah, I think that my natural hair journey is over. And I... I feel good about that. Um, I know I've had some ups and downs and my hair has thrived and it has really struggled, but it's mine. 
and I love it and I'm super super happy with it and since I'm kind of like not on this natural hair journey anymore I decided to let go of the name Classy Kinks so Classy Kinks was the name of my YouTube channel that turned into the name of my blog and so for the past eight years I have been operating online as Classy Kinks a few months ago I decided that it was really just time to let that go and I did it officially a few days ago and relaunched my blog as ijamacola.com the YouTube channel is now called ijamacola Everywhere on social is now Ijama Cola. My hair isn't something that's separate from me anymore. So it's weird for it to have its own like moniker. It's just me. It's part of who I am. When I started to go natural, I didn't know being a natural hair blogger or, or talking about natural hair online would transform my life in the way that it did. I'm so grateful for it. I, there's, there's no way that I would have ever continued along this path maybe if I hadn't cut my hair in 2010 but it's definitely just a part of who I am now so moving forward you can find me everywhere online at Ijama Cola and thanks so much for watching and supporting over the past eight years whether this is your first video or whether you've watched all of them especially including the ones that I've deleted because they were just that bad <laughs> thank you guys so much for your support of Classy Kinks over the past eight years and I hope that you stick around because I think that there's some exciting things coming with the drama cola but you'll have to stay tuned to find out for yourself i don't know how to end this video so i'm just gonna go say peace out bye guys <laughs>